Hey there everyone, Avra here with EdTech Teacher. So I'm excited because Canva keeps getting better. And one of the things that I wanna take a look at today is how we can now take a Word file, a PowerPoint, even some PDF files, and import them into Canva and then completely edit them. So depending on the type of the file and depending on how your PDF was created, it, it may vary a little bit, but let's take a look at this Word file, for example. So in this case, all I did was go into Word and open up a template that was already created by, by Microsoft, right? And it's just a quick newsletter. Now, one of the things that I was noticing is that, you know, Word has always been just a little bit tricky for me. I've used it obviously for decades, but like I want to get rid of the second page and I can't figure out how. And, you know, sometimes even if you're wrapping the text, images can be difficult to deal with and word processing environments are just not necessarily um, meant for graphics always, right? So let's look at how we can take this Word file and get it into Canva. All Right. So what I'm going to do right now is head over to Canva and there's a couple of different ways of doing this. To begin with, if you follow my mouse up to the top right, I can go where it says create a design and I can go right down to where it says import file right here. That's one way which would launch a window where I can browse through my files here on my computer. Likewise, this box right here, you guys, if I click on just that same icon here, it's going to do the same thing. So there's that newsletter that I can grab and it's just a docx file. Okay. And it is uploading it at this point here into Canva. So if we scroll down a little bit, you will see this one right here. Okay. And here it is. So let's go ahead and click on it and see how it turns out. So to begin with, I'm just going to go ahead and close this feedback box here, but to begin with, I've got two nicely delineated pages and hey look at this garbage can delete the page so that made me so happy because in word i was kind of stuck messing around trying to get rid of that second page and now the things that i'm noticing as i look at this each of these different elements is completely customizable i can move them around if i click on this title box here look up here i could change the color Okay, I can do a whole lot of things. This is all individual text boxes and I can change the font if I want to. First of all, I will you know, also mention that if you look closely, it did a really good job of bringing in my text. Now Canva does warn us like depending on, you know, whether they can find the same font, they might have to have substituted a little bit. We know that whenever we move one file from one program to another there may be some issues but if you take a look at this it's pretty darn good so at this point now if i'm a student and i'm working on a newsletter project for class i can do it here in canva keeping in mind that canva offers a lot of multimedia opportunities that google docs or word docs don't so we can insert video to this we could insert audio to this we could put music in the background so we can do all sorts of things to spice it up even further but if we just look at the basics we can also customize the colors of text boxes we can change the font we can have a great deal of fun taking everything that was in Word and now it's here in our Canva environment. So I just thought that was such a cool feature. Just wanted to share it with you today. Please let me know if this works for you. I'd love to hear from you. If there's ever anything I can do, I'm at Avra Rachel on Twitter and you can always find more information about myself and my colleagues at edtechteacher.org. Thanks so much for watching.